education you know, is, a, is a really big priority for the chamber and our nearly 900 members. Uh, we were big supporters of the general obligation bond this past fall. We've been advocating for continued state funding of education. Uh, and we are working across the region to really try to, to form stronger connections between our workforce system and our K-12 system. So um, as, as you probably have heard, we're facing a pretty big workforce shortage you know, in this area. And our, our businesses have an ever-growing need for, for more and more talent, which really makes uh, the achievements uh, that we'll be celebrating today you know, even that more important. Um, we feel very, very lucky to have exceptional teachers, students, administrators, support staff, volunteers, and partners in our community. And we're honored to have the opportunity to recognize some of you here today. So before I begin and dive into the awards, uh, I'd like to also thank our corporate sponsors for making this celebration of excellence possible. Thank you to our gold sponsors, Dr. Suzanne Stock, orthodontist, Hills Bank and Trust Company, Newman Munson PC Architects, Pearson, and University of Iowa Healthcare. Uh, as I also mentioned, the, the Chamber supports education legislatively, and we've got two sponsors that fund all of our education endeavors, and, and those sponsors are ACT and the University of Iowa Office of the President and Office of Outreach and Engagement. So now on to the, the fun part, the awards. Uh, we received this year a lot of exceptional uh, nominations, and it was really, really difficult to select the award recipients. Uh, after reading all the nominations, uh, I can tell you that the, the committee just felt this overwhelming pride you know, in our community and, and all that you work so hard for uh, year after year. Um, so thank you for, for everything you've done for this community. So first off, is our uh, Teacher Excellence Award, and here to present today's award for Teacher Excellence uh, at both the elementary and secondary levels is a sponsor of today's event, uh, Bethany Welsh, Welsh, Treasury Management Officer at Hills Bank and Trust Company. Oh, there's Bethany. Thank you, Kim. Michelle Beninga of Baldwin School writes, it has been a privilege to watch Aaron Dillard grow, up, grow from a fresh, brand new teacher entering the world of education to an experienced teacher with the most incredible drive for student success. Her classroom is a place where student voice is encouraged and students feel empowered to serve as a leader in their educational journey. Beginning on the very first day of school, it is clear that Aaron works hard to create a classroom community where students are excited to learn. Erin believes in focusing on the whole child, developing both the academic and social self. Erin's students grow into respectful and positive community members because of their time in her classroom. Here to accept her Elementary Teacher Excellence Award is Erin Dillard. Now for the Secondary Teacher Excellence Award. Ryan Arp, band director at Liberty High School, had this to say about his colleague. Bill is an unbelievable human being and someone that has legendary status amongst his peers in the band director profession. He has earned a reputation as someone who has success at all levels, all settings, and in all aspects of the band program. Bill has a natural ability to motivate students to reach their potential, and the fact that he can do it with the junior high kids and the lower high school kids is evidence of his exceptional abilities. Bill's achievements are many. He might have a record for the number of unique bands to perform at the Iowa Band Masters Conference, the highest level of achievement for bands in our state. Despite all of that, he remains humble and not someone who seeks a spotlight and personal accolades. He always makes it about the students and their achievement, not his own. Here to accept his Secondary Teacher Excellence Award is Bill Pringle. Congratulations to Aaron and Bill. 
So next we are um, on to the Student Excellence Award. So here to present the awards for student excellence at both the elementary and secondary levels is another sponsor of today's event, Dr. Suzanne Stock, orthodontist. For the Elementary Student Excellence Award, Anita Gerling, principal of Kirkwood Elementary, writes, Junior Debusu is a fifth grade student at Kirkwood Elementary. He came to Kirkwood last year from Congo. He was just learning English and had some struggles at school. This year, Junior has made a commitment to being an exemplary scholar. He applied for and was awarded the head of security position in his classroom. This means that he is always ensuring that everyone in his class is acting in a manner that is safe and promotes learning. Junior's scholarly behavior extends to academics as well. Starting as a student with limited English, he has taken his ELL classes seriously and is progressing toward exiting from English language services. His ELL teachers say, in ELL class, he is right on time, never whines, and is always super excited to learn. He is curious, makes good connections, and is motivated. Here to accept his award for elementary student excellence is Junior Debussy. For the Secondary Student Excellence Award, Greg Yoder of West High writes, it has been my pleasure to work with Junhee Lee on career and college planning at West High School. He is a tremendous student who brings a wonderful perspective to all educational settings. Junhee has repeatedly challenged himself by taking our more rigorous courses. His transcript is full of both advanced placement and honors courses and he has now achieved the level of AP Scholar with distinction. Junhee maxed out West High's math courses as an eighth grader and, has, and he has been taking classes through the University of Iowa during his high school years. This year, he is currently enrolled in a graduate level mathematics class. Junhee fills leadership roles within our school newspaper, winning numerous state honors for feature story and column awards. He is currently copy editor and business manager and is heavily invested in the, monthly, in the monthly publication success. Despite the fact that we have many talented and gifted students at West High, Jun He has my utmost respect, and I can't think of any more deserving young adult in our building. And Greg is here to accept the Secondary Student, Ex Secondary student Excellence Award on behalf of Jun He Lee, who is doing college visits. <laughs> Uh, pair of students there. Uh, now on to the Student Team slash Group Excellence Award. Here to present today's Student Team Group Excellence Award is the sponsor of today's event, Kim McDonald of Newman Munson Architects. Thanks, Kim. Laura Schwab and Tom Braverman, advisors of the City High Best Buddies program, write, Molly Brennan, Sarah Nunez, Kothar Ruabi, and Shelby Cooper are four young women who lead the City High Best Buddies leadership team. Although there are other student groups who deserve recognition for their efforts, we feel safe in saying none have gone to the extremes that these women, women have in order to make City High School and Iowa City a more inclusive place for people with intellectual disabilities, also known as ID. This core group have mentored countless individuals and provided students with ID a chance to experience aspects of high school life they would have other, otherwise not had. At the same time, they have given students without ID a chance to meet and form true friendships, 
from people they may have otherwise never encountered during their all too brief high school careers. The whole process has been transformative for all club members in their activities and the activities they have planned for both in the community and at school have clearly demonstrated that this generation of young people is strong and that they are willing to give their time, energy, and love to make others' lives better. Here to accept the award for student team slash group excellence on behalf of the City High Best Buddies leadership team are Molly Brennan, Sarah Nunez, Kotha Ruabi, and Shelby Cooper. Congratulations, Best Buddies team. Here to present today's Science and Technology Excellence Award and Administrative slash Support Staff Award is the sponsor of today's event, Emily Stratton, STEM Education Specialist at University of Iowa Healthcare. For the Science and Technology Excellence Award, Trisha Carty of Grantwood Elementary writes, Jenna Lee Chamberlain epitomizes the concepts of ingenuity and creativity in science and technology education. As the kindergarten through sixth grade teacher librarian at Kirkwood Elementary, she is tirelessly working to, prov to provide her students with opportunities to explore a variety of innovative tools and resources in both instruction and after school learning opportunities. At risk students comprise the majority of the student population at Kirkwood. However, providing her students, many of whom have minimal access to technology resources outside of school, with meaningful opportunities to explore and create is the passion of Jenna Lees. Her passion for innovation and technology also inspires other classroom teachers and teacher librarians to integrate new ideas during instruction. As a colleague, I look at Jenna Lees' instructional activities and teaching philosophies as a model of success. Her passion for finding ways to infuse technology in all facets of the school library program and school community are inspiring. Here to accept her award for science and technology excellence is Jenna Lee Chamberlain. For the Administrative Support Staff Award, Michelle Beninga of Willowin writes, as Willowin's program coordinator, Jessica oversees all the planning and preparing of after school programming, spring break programming, and summer programming. Her can-do attitude, pro attitude provides Jessica the inspiration necessary to tackle any project. No task is too big or too daunting for Jessica. In her first eight weeks as program coordinator, Jessica developed a strong after-school program, which included after-school care for dozens of students and after-school enrichment classes offered to students of all ages from Willowind School and beyond. Jessica also works hard to plan engaging educational opportunities for Willowind's 2018 summer programs. In her first eight weeks, she developed over 90 classes to offer students in Iowa City, Coralville, North Liberty, and beyond, preschool through eighth grade. While the students are excited for summer break, they are more excited for the summer programs with Jessica. Her role as programs coordinator has provided students an opportunity to see, understand, and love a learning that doesn't stop at the end of the school day. Thanks to Jessica, students are engaged in education all year long. Here to accept her award for administrative support staff excellence is Jessica Palmer.
congratulations to you, Jessica and Jenna Lee. Let's see, next up we've got Administrator Excellence. Uh, oh, and I get to present the next, this award as well as the following two. So uh, I'm excited to read uh, a segment from Tim Cool, Superintendent of the Clear Creek Amana School District, his nomination of Mr. Moody. Mr. Moody is a truly exceptional educator and leader. He operates from a service leadership perspective at all times, focusing on what is best for the students of CCA and how to best support our staff in meeting student needs, both academically and socially and emotionally. Mr. Moody demonstrates his commitment to the overall development of our students daily. He is at nearly all student activities, greets students in the building, and has implemented programs to support struggling students. Things like adding a social worker to our at-risk staffing for students pay huge dividends in our students' well-being and growth. I am perhaps most impressed with Mr. Moody's ability to influence positive change in a non-threatening manner. Mr. Moody is able to work through the change process by establishing need, supporting creativity, supporting learning needs of all involved, and listening to feedback. This has enabled him to facilitate significant change for the better while building a very positive culture. Here to accept his award for administrator excellence is Mr. Mark Moody. Congratulations, Mark. For the Volunteer Excellence Award, Ben McCumber of Amana Elementary writes, Mrs. Kellenberger donates nearly every morning to help in the kindergarten class and continues to be an invaluable member of our school community. Mrs. Kellenberger will assist in student learning by reading to and reading with students. She has a genuinely loving approach to comforting students when they are hurt or when they need their shoes tied or their coats zippered. Mrs. Kellenberger is also willing and able to fill in at the office, assist in the preschool, and even in our behavior program. Mrs. Kellenberger does not believe in any downtime. She insists on keeping busy with seemingly simple tasks that ultimately save the teachers loads of time. Mr. Kellenberger went to school in Amana, graduated from here when it was still a high school in 1969. He started driving the school bus as a junior in high school. The day after graduation, Mr. Kellenberger was hired by the district as a building engineer. Mr. Kellenberger retired in 2004, although one would never have known. He was called on and continues to be called on to help maintain the pool and the heating system. For years after his retirement, when faced with a building question as to where something might be or why something might not work, frequently we will say, let's ask Pat, he'll know, and he does. Mr. and Mrs. Kellenberger are lifelong residents of Amana. All their children and now grandchildren have moved on, but both continue to be as valued a member of this school as ever. I can't think of how we would manage without both of their countless hours of volunteering to our Amana Elementary. Here to accept their award for volunteer excellence are Kathy and Pat Kellenberger. afternoon is the Partnership Excellence Award. Terrence Coleman of City High writes, Steinler Orthopedic Clinic has been providing team physicians for the Iowa City Community School District athletic teams for 30 years. This has involved covering home and away varsity football games, coming to school weekly for injury evaluations as needed, assisting and supervising the district athletic trainers, and providing athletic physical examinations on an as-needed basis. Steinler Orthopedic Clinic has saved students in the Iowa City Community School District thousands of dollars and countless lost classroom hours through their association with the district. Over the years, they have put in countless hours in a desire for the kids of the district to have top-notch injury care 
with little to no recognition. Here to accept the Partnership Excellence Award is Steinler Orthopedic Clinic. that it's just it's truly amazing all that that this community and again our, our teachers and our students and our volunteers our administrators I mean it, it, it takes a village but I'm just so blown away by by everything you all um, have accomplished today so so please give another round a big applause for all the award recipients today. the chamber staff and board just just thank you for for everything you've done to make this community great um, but I also like another quick thank you to our, our sponsors uh, who made this event possible um, dr. Suzanne stock orthodontist Hills Bank and Trust Company Newman Munson PC architects Pearson University of Iowa Healthcare ACT and University of Iowa Office of the President and Office of Outreach and Engagement uh, thank you all for, for being here with us this afternoon. Um, award recipients, feel free to come up and take pictures in front of the banner if you want or, or, or anywhere else in the room. Uh, thank you again for being here and enjoy the rest of the afternoon.